Yeah, this girl ain't playing, y'all. This is probably the first person I have not text to let them know that I'm on the way. Look at this message she had in the direction. She's basically saying, I know I got an order online. Don't continue to knock my door, knock on my door and ring my doorbell. And uh, <laughs> she knows what's going on, so I ain't even bothering her. There's a couple of things I find pretty hilarious and disappointing in that delivery. She ordered pizza, a pizza cutter, and a pizza it's a pan as well. The thing with Spark is she got her pizza she got her pizza cutter not the one she wanted she didn't get a pizza pan so she's got all the stuff for pizza and no pan i said that pizza pan wasn't available and it had no suggestions so i've started suggesting things and it wouldn't it said it was invalid everything i suggested was invalid uh, i find it interesting that i still get paid exactly the same regardless if i get every item or not there were a couple of items maybe three that she didn't get all right i just had a conversation with doordash support i haven't received an offer the entire time i was in walmart i got paused twice and i just want to go over that discussion with you hopefully i don't miss an instacart offer doing this i was trying to find out why i wouldn't get orders i basically said i don't have to take every order they don't benefit me he was saying that the pay model was set up to include the distant distance and the desired works to benefit us. And I, and I told him I hadn't received the first order today. He says, take note of this, Michael. Amount you see in the acceptance screen is guaranteed amount that you'll earn for every delivery. Your earnings upon completion of delivery may be greater than the amount that was offered. And you'll see this reflected immediately upon completion. And customers are also able to tip after the delivery if they choose to do so at checkout. It may increase the earnings. That's a you know, 250 is 250, 650 is 650. Never get a tip after delivery. Comment down below if you ever get a tip on DoorDash after the delivery. Guarantee you is less than 1%, probably less than half of a percent. Then I'm become a smart ass like I normally do with these agents. I said, is this what you're telling people? How about stop hiding tips and being transparent? And then he basically said, if that's what I believe, he's sorry and that he can't give me a big payment right now. And I'm like, that's not even what I asked for. And he continues with this, every tip that someone gives goes in the dasher's pocket and will be different from the base pay. And it is not, it's it's an absolute lie. It's what it is. I told him to take care, try not to mislead the uninformed. It didn't stop there. I basically told him that he should be telling people 650 and below are gonna stay the same. That's what I was trying to get at. And I told him that, that I would believe in because that's facts. Then he went on about tips after the drop off. I didn't get a screenshot of me telling him take care and uh, Thanks for being DoorDash's number one support agent. <laughs> uh, so this is what DoorDash support is telling people. They're, they're lying to them, telling them that the tip could go up afterwards, which is a bunch of bullshit. You guys know that if it's, my base pay is 250, so if it's 650, it could go higher. These support agents are full of shit. This is comical. This is actually, it's actually sad and comical. His name was Peter Paul. Yeah, I'm sure it was. What an ass clown. It's completely ridiculous. They, they think we're all stupid as hell. They give us the runaround. I will absolutely claim that I'm not getting offers because my ER is 4%. It's probably why I used to get offers regardless. And I'm not crying or complaining. We've got all these other apps you guys see every day. I'm doing good on Instacart and Spark. I'm actually just fighting for dashers at this point. I think it's bullshit. You should be penalized because of your acceptance rate. You don't have to take every order. An acceptance rate shouldn't even be a thing on any platform at all. So please understand, I'm not upset that I'm not getting offers from DoorDash to the extent of Top Dash or Diamond program versus Cherry Picker. I'm not upset at that point. I'm upset at the fact that it shouldn't be a thing. You should just be getting offers, period. Agents like this are just ass kissers for DoorDash. Okay, DoorDash finally sent me an offer. It was 350 for eight and a half miles from Papa John's. Like, how does that benefit me? That's what I want to know. Like, based on this guy's conversation, right? This is what he's telling Dashers. Say I take it. Depending on the restaurant, it could take five to 10 minutes to get the food. And then you got to drive eight and a half miles, which is probably about 13 to 15 minutes. Now you're in 25 minutes. Not to mention you got to drive to Papa John's and then you got to drive back. It leaves you in a bad area out of town where there's no restaurants and you've spent maybe 40 minutes making $3 and 50 cents. It is not going to go up regardless of what this guy says. Very slim chance of getting a cash tip. That is probably an order that's set out there with no tip on it at all. Like how does this benefit you? That's my point. This guy's preaching that it benefits you. Yes, it's $3.50 more than I had in my pocket, right? It's eight and a half mile there and probably about four back into town. Probably spent the rest in gas. Got a grub hub for $18 and some change for 11 miles. It says we'll be there in 13 minutes. Just It's just dead. It's just dead. I, I can't say anything else. It's just completely dead today. So I'm just taking this and we're gonna roll with it. I'm at 51 bucks and I think it's like 12. So really, really bad. Considering I got over here at eight, that's uh, that's that's bad. This is one of the worst days I've seen in a long time. Talk with Yost Malone. We're actually gonna do a sports channel. 
Comment down below if you guys would be interested in that. We're talking about doing a weekly sports channel. Just let me know what you guys think down below if you if you would subscribe to that type of channel. All right, guys, I got a Walmart shop and deliver, $35 for about nine miles. That'll help me reach my goal for the week, and I'm happy with that. Appreciate this order, and but it seems like I wasted quite a bit of time today. So I'd rather not waste any more sitting around. It's about 30 items, and they're tipping five bucks. So we're not too worried about the tip because Spark has our back on the base pay. So All right, guys, I'm back home. I didn't make a lot today, but I made $86. It's not enough for the time that I was out. Glad I ended the day. Sometimes you gotta just cut your losses and take your ass home. We'll go over the numbers for the week. I did reach my goal of $500. I hit 518. I worked 25 hours. Probably blowing your guys' mind that I'm actually going over my week. I haven't done this in a few weeks. I only drove 133 miles this week for work. You know, I drive to Dothan, so I have to spend those miles coming to Dothan and back home. As far as work related, which is what you can claim on taxes, I, I, I drove 133 miles, which is outstanding. It's probably the lowest I've ever had and probably the lowest deliveries I've ever done. I, I did 22 deliveries. Shop and delivery is the way to go. So we'll look at the percentages of what I did for the week uh, on which apps. You know, I have seven apps that I run all day, every day. We did 0% of DoorDash. We probably saw about maybe 13 orders, but we didn't take any. I'm not gonna say they're all bad. Some of them came in at the wrong time, but I will say I'm at 4% acceptance rate, somewhere in that neck of the woods. Top Dasher and the Diamond program, they don't matter to me because I don't have to have DoorDash. To some capacity, it has to have affected me somehow because I'm not getting offers at all. You can say these programs don't matter, but I think you gotta have a decent AR to get offers because I'm not getting anything, guys. That's all I can say. I mean, I'm just not seeing any offers. You saw me complain today and it did nothing. So it, you know, it doesn't matter. They don't care. You don't work for them and you shouldn't have to worry about acceptance rate. But the fact of the matter is they want you to take every order that's sent to you. You know, to them, they make sense. You saw the guy say that every order benefits someone. No, it doesn't. It, it, it truly doesn't. So I took zero shipped orders this week. I have a hard time trusting shipped because I pretty much have not received a tip on shipped in a long time. We got 3% of our orders from Uber Eats. It's a whopping $17 this week. And we got 4% of our money from Roadie. And 4% of it come from Grubhub, which was today an $18.17 offer. 32% of my income was from Spark. Those are mostly shop and delivery. If I had to say, probably all of them were. And then we got Instacart. 57% of my income is Instacart. Absolutely love Instacart. Today, they just took a big shit on me. I got nothing from Instacart that was worth taking absolutely nothing and today with other apps i mean i guess it's just the market the market was just kind of dead today tuesday and thursday or wednesday one of those days are always going to be a bad day it just seems to be there's going to be one day out of the week that's awful anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this week i'm going to get back to gaming uh probably here in a few minutes after i do a video and upload it and then that's what I'm going to do the rest of the week. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for spending any time on my channel. I try to make my videos under 10 minutes. Sometimes they go longer. That's so you guys having to watch something that's 30 minutes long. I highly suggest you check out several of the other great YouTubers out there. Zach Drives Fast, Ashen with Ash in Canada, Delivering with Ellen. Those are just to name a few. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll talk to you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye. 50 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right?